Ladies and gentlemen, recently, Kim Klasik went on The View and she did an interview and she called out Joy Bayer for going in blackface back in 2018. Now, Joy says something really interesting, but I'm just going to let you listen to this exchange and you can judge for yourself. And I'll be back with my commentary. You know, we didn't handle the pandemic as a country uh, great as a whole. You know, this is why I talk about bringing the biotech industry right back through the Baltimore city port. Uh, we've got allowed a lot of jobs and manufacturing to go overseas thanks to NAFTA and the, the Bill Clinton administration. And that's why he's pulling it back. How we had that metal equip medical equipment industry here, we probably would have been more equipped to, uh, to better handle the pandemic. Um, now you're saying disproportionately affecting black lives. If you look at cities of Baltimore, you've got things called like a food desert. And this is where you're sitting there and they don't have grocery stores. They don't have what they need. Um, uh, around them in, this, in their neighborhoods. And so, yeah, I believe a coronavirus pandemic would affect us more. I mean, look at my campaign ad. Look at the living conditions. That would affect us more, absolutely. That's why I'm running for office. Come on, Kim. Excuse me, I have to say something to you. He told Bob Woodward that it was a very serious issue and it's airborne and that it was terrible. And then he went out and told the American people, don't wear masks, it's all gonna go away. You have to put some blame on your president, I'm sorry. You're putting it on something extraneous here. Talk to the point, please. Is this is this Joy speaking? The, the same Joy? The same yes. Joy that yes. paraded around in blackface not too long ago? Come on, Joy. I don't think you should be That's asking not these true. questions. I am excuse a me, American. Excuse me. The black community had my back. They know that the that black was community not has my face. back. That was an homage. Oh, please. The black Just community the has question. my back. The black as community well. has your back. The black yes. community has yes, your back. They do. Sonny, the yes. black community did well, not vote them. for you. Well, the black you community know did not vote for you. What it was during are you a special election. On? Sonny, can I speak? What it planet during, are you living on? It was during a special wow. election while well, we exactly. were still under lockdown and wow. I could not talk to people. Can I speak or are you just going to scream over this me? becomes a big... Listen, Kim, Kim good joy. luck to you. Thanks to Kim Clayson. That was very immature, right but Bye. thank you for having me. Okay, so as you can okay, see, so as you can ridiculous. see, Joy threw her off after that. But did you hear what Joy Bear said? She said the black community had her back. Now, who goes in blackface and you ever seen the black community have their back? Who had her back? Was some house slaves on the view? Who had this woman's back? We don't. No, we don't roll like that. You go in blackface and the black community got your back? Blackface is a mocking. We don't have your back on that. Oh, my goodness. All right, so this is Hollywood Life, September 18th, 2020. Joy Bear kicks Kim Klasik off the view mid-interview after she brings up her blackface scandal. No, Joy contact me. I'll tell you, we don't have your back. Okay. When you dress up and mock us, we do not have your back. GOP congressional candidate Kim Klasik's attempt to drag Joy Bear on The View didn't end well, with the co-host eventually kicking her off the talk show mid-interview. After Klasik, 38, spent her entire September 17th interview defending President Donald Trump, apparent support of Black Americans and his response to the COVID-19 pandemic. Yeah, well, Kim is full of crap on that because he didn't do well. Bayer cut her off in disbelief. Come on, Kim. Trump told Bob Woodward that it was a very serious issue, that it's airborne and that it was terrible. Yes, he did. Because I heard the audio myself. And then he told the American people, don't wear a mask. It's going to go away. He's still saying that. He's still saying it's going to go away. You have to put some blame on your president. Sorry. So then Kim came back and said, is this joy speaking? The same Joy who paraded around in blackface not too long ago? Come on, Joy. I don't think you should be uh, asking questions. Baird exploded, 
saying, and you heard what she said, the black community had her back. No, we don't have your back when you go blackface. Maybe you need to come over here and listen to our videos. We don't have none of your backs. But this is what Joy said. The black community had her back after she admitted to dressing as a black woman for a Halloween party in the 70s. It was something that's been discussed on The View many times. The black community has had my back, Klasik responded. The the set off of the co-host, Sonny Holston, uh, couldn't hold her laughter. The black community has your back. The black community has your back. You heard Sonny in the background. I'm absolutely useless. The black community didn't vote for you. Uh, what planet are you on? Wow, Holston said Klasik. This is what she's saying to Klasik. Klasik is running for Maryland's 7th Congress Congressional District, the seat occupied by the late Rep. Elijah Cummings. She lost the special election held in April 2020. Okay, so to uh, Kwasi Mafume, that's who she lost to. And Kim blames that loss on the pandemic. As the fight continues, Bayard decide to abruptly end the interview, telling Klasik good luck. She could be heard thanking the ladies while calling them immature as her connection cut off. Mm -mm -mm. So uh, following the episode, Klasik took to Twitter, the ladies of At The View, didn't like what I had to say. So naturally they cut me off. Why are they silencing black women? Hey, at Joy uh, V. Bearher, um, I think your white privilege is showing through your black face. <laughs> now, those of you that may not know, it, it, there is a picture of her online and Joy, tried to make herself look ethnically black back in the 70s. And she went in blackface for some Halloween event that she attended. So she was a grown woman at that time, you know, and Kim was just calling her out on it. But you know what? I ain't mad at Kim at this one, because if anything, we don't call these people out enough when we have the opportunity to do so. And she held her ground, but, you know, some people, you know, have a lot of fragility and couldn't handle that conversation. And again, I want to know what black community had Joy Bears back when she was in blackface. Who had her back? Did y'all ever hear about people in the black community had her back? I sure haven't, but y'all let me know in the comment section. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.